Today we're going to be going over to how to assemble the North Country EMS CPAP. The indications for CPAP are a patient in respiratory distress who is satting at below 94% breathing at more than 25 respirations per minute and using auxiliary muscles to breathe. Furthermore, the patient has to be at least 12 years old, be able to maintain their own airway and follow directions. Generally, they will be exhibiting symptoms of asthma, COPD, or CHF. Start by making sure uh, BSI and the scene is safe and we have our uh, personal protective equipment. The CPAP is located here on the shelf. The CPAP mask and the hoses are located here on the shelf. We start by taking our equipment out, laying it out. This is the North Country EMS CPAP hose, mask, straps, hose, and filter. Right. We have four posts, which we can, or four ports, which we can attach the air to. One, two, three, and four. We start by making sure the air is on. Right. We're going to be using this port. We start by removing the tree. The tree, the green uh, portion on the tree rotates and it unlocks. Verify that you have a quick disconnect on your hose. Attach the other end of the hose to the CPAP. Make sure it is hand tight as to avoid linking. Then connect the quick disconnect to the wall port. We now attach our CPAP hose. It connects by running over and spinning clockwise into the lock. The filter fits on the out fits on the outside. We now turn to our patient. We see if our patient has had CPAP before and if they can tolerate the mask. If they have not had CPAP before, we can give the mask to the patient and ask them to hold it to their face. We ask the patient if they uh, feel comfortable, if they feel claustrophobic, and if they can tolerate the mask. Good? Okay. We now turn on the CPAP. We grab and cover the hole with our hand and turn the device up to five um, millimeters of water should be in the middle of the green. We then apply we then apply it to the mask in the patient. At this point we see if our medic wants a med nap. Med nap is located up here and would generally be in its own packaging. We can just set the hose down. The way you set up a med nap is to unscrew it. You apply your medication, which is typically atrovent and albuterol. They come in these packages. A little plastic thing breaks open. You pour it inside. Screw the top back on. This fits in line between the mask and the device. We then apply air to the MedNet itself using eight meters per minute. We always apply the air to the MedNeb last once it is closed in order to keep, avoid blowing the drug all over the place. At this point, we attach the straps. It's important to note that the thicker part of the strap is the bottom. I am holding this correctly. At this point, if you have a partner, your partner will hold the mask, or you will have the patient hold the mask. I'm going to make sure the mask is tight and in place, and affording a good seal. At this point, it is important to put the patient on the monitor. We watch his saturation. We also need to apply an intel 2 for all respiratory patients and respiratory distress. 
Those are located up here. This is an inline ETO2. What we're going to do, plug it into the monitor. We're going to cut off the head. Do that with regular trauma shears and slip it underneath the mask. At this point, we need to verify that there are also no leaks in the mask from the hose or around the eyes. If the mask gets too heavy, have your partner hold it. Finish. It's always a good idea to push print. This is likely a critical patient and their vitals should be taken every five minutes. We're going to be setting up CPAP in the field away from the ambulance. The setup of the CPAP itself is the same, except we're going to be using a portable O2 bottle. O2 bottle is in the kit. Start by taking that out, turning it on, and setting it aside where it cannot tip over. We did a simple one. The connection, the quick connect on the bottle is the same as the wall connect on the ambulance. They plug in together. The CPAP now has air to it. And we assemble the rest of the CPAP. Now to disconnect the uh, 50 psi bypass and pigtail from the oxygen we simply rotate clockwise and pull just like in the ambulance. We now turn the oxygen bottle off, bleed whatever air is left in it, and place it back in the kit where it cannot tip over.